Hey, outdoorsness. We're outdoors today. It's the uh, last weekend in May, so I wanted to come up where I uh, hunt mushrooms a lot in the fall, see what it looked like here in the spring. And, you know, the world was telling them and sending me all kinds of signals today, saying stay inside. You don't need to be out here. Um, it's just gonna be a crappy day. So I get to where, uh, where I would normally um, park to get into this area. And yeah, there's like a bunch of people there. It's, it's, so it's like, it's Memorial Day. So yeah, you got everybody out anywhere. Parking anywhere near any source of water is just impossible. So I came over to look at this rock because it looks viciously like a grave, but it's not. Anyway, short story is I had to take the sort of the back way into my, uh, area I like and I don't know if I'm in there or not like I forgot how uh just contrary this whole area is and can be so I think I'm headed towards it I know where I am because the the highway is that way so I'm not worried about being lost it's just like the inconvenience of getting out of here is going to be extreme and I'm already pretty overheated I feel so like I'm anyway so I think what I'm going to do so I'm going to call this a short outdoorsing, a shortening. And I'm just going to get out of here because I just don't feel like this is the day. Like sometimes you just got to listen to the woods and do what it tells you. And today the woods is saying to me, man, it's Sunday, you should go home and have a rest. So let's, uh, let's document my getting the heck out of here. So bug spray is a scam is what I've determined. Um, it's weird that it took me this long in my life to figure that out. Somebody else, anybody else come to that conclusion? Bug spray is just BS, it doesn't work. I feel like uh, Congress should do something about it. There should be like an investigation. I mean, I've seen them investigate like all kinds of things, like steroid rules, uh, cable prices stuff like that i really think um somebody needs to go after the bug spray industry because i just think uh the stuff they sell doesn't actually work and i'm not really uh sold on the other stuff either oh here's something neat so this is funny we find these all the time when i'm out here with maggie squatch we'll pick these up and i think we have figured out what they are and forgotten several times now. It's a seed pod, of course, but to what I can never remember. Eventually it'll dry out and it'll become like hollow and maybe kind of red. And I've looked it up before and I always forget what it is and have to check again. So we have uh, come to another learning and forgetting cycle with comes to there is a deer fly on that camera. What a cheeky monster. So. Yeah, so I'm not lost. I know how to get out of here. It's just one of those. Uh... See, I actually think this is the southern side of the, the place I normally go to, which means the place I normally go to is just over there. So I just said I was gonna bail on this. If I come out here and I am where I think I am, I think what I'll do, well, we'll see how I feel. All right, I decided to do uh, more outdoorsing. Going that way. Because that will take us to the uh, spot I normally come in here on. And from there, I can actually head back. Maybe a little easier. If not easier, at least more interesting. The way I got in here was uh, kind of rough, frankly. Took a lot out of me. It's just very steep and uh, there's no shade. So it will uh, zap you with your energy pretty quickly, I've found. So I think that hill over there on the other side of that hill is where I usually come in. And the hills in here are they're kind of funny, like, I talked about it before, but mostly 
pretty even in here. I mean, there's a gentle slope upward to the north. But then you have these, uh, these hills over here, these mountains or mullocks or bullocks or whatever they're called. And they're pretty, uh, pretty steep, as you can see, compared to everything else. The other thing is the, uh, the blowdowns sort of changed a lot of the uh, landmarkers in here. So that was kind of my issue before, finding my way around, finding ways to where I was. It's, uh, you know, usually you go by trees you recognize, and you see a tree lying on its side in a place you've never seen that tree before. Yeah, you can get a disoriented. So I'm gonna head up this thing in the least strenuous way. Or the most strenuous way. Yeah, we'll just power it a little bit. I don't know why I thought I'd find morels in here. I don't think these are the kinds of trees I typically see them around. If you don't try anything new or do anything different, uh, you're obviously not gonna find anything new or different, right? Right, yeah. That sounds smart. Okay. That general area is sort of where I wanna go. It's actually kinda nice up here. What is this? What is this? Hard. I don't know. I'd like to like drag a botanist or something up here. Find some scientist. Kidnap him. <laughs> Just have him tell me what all the plants are as we go. That'd be fun for me anyway. I don't know about the poor scientist. Could also just you know study some guidebooks and maybe learn myself. Is it fun of that? Okay, this is the spot I think. Yeah, I can tell from here. It looks so much different in the spring. Late spring. But I should have come up here like three weeks ago. That would have been a good idea. Might have seen more of what I'm looking for, but maybe not. I don't know. Forgot the nickname I gave this thing. South Gate, I think I called it. I don't know why. It seemed like a gate to me, and it's sort of the south section of that wilderness. So. Squirrels. Squirrels sound like buffalo sometimes. Not that I've ever heard of buffalo, but they're loud, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm hoping, I was hoping to just see a morel poking up somewhere around here, but again, I don't think these trees are the kind of trees I normally see them around. Couldn't quite remember, so I thought it might be worth coming in here to check. I guess it was. It's, I guess it's gonna... <laughs> we'll have to, um... I guess we'll see how hard and annoying it is to get out of here, and then, uh... Then I guess I'll tell you whether it was a good idea to come in here or not. Because I, uh... Wore shorts in here. Which, you know, might have been a bad move, but it is kind of hot out, so. In fact, how hot is it? It doesn't have to be very hot for me to say it's hot out, I'll say that. I have a bad history of underestimating the heat. Let's see. It is 81 degrees. Okay, that's not exactly cool. So, I guess I'm a little justified in being sweaty. Ah, man. I don't think I filmed it, but there was one day I was out fishing or something like that. And uh, terrain similar to this. Oh, I was winded. I was beat. I was like, what the hell? It's like, I gotta get out more. I gotta exercise or something for me to be this winded. I thought it was like 85 degrees, maybe. Man, I had to get my, uh, I had to get Dad Squatch to come pick me up in his truck. <laughs> and, uh, According to his truck thermometer, yeah, it was more like 100 degrees. 
So, <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, that's what took it out of me. So, okay, I uh, I don't think we're gonna find morels in here. What I am gonna do, is I'm gonna head back in there actually. But I kind of know where I'm going now. And I'm only gonna go so far. If I don't really see anything interesting, I'm just gonna head back. And I'm gonna leave the way I would normally have come in. And like I said, that is more or less gonna tell me whether uh, this was all a very bad idea or not. Say something pawed the ground here. I don't know what. And here too. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna leave it alone. Thought that would fall right out. I don't think it's big enough to make a widow. Maybe a headache. Headache maker. Anyway. Okay, I feel like I'm satisfied. I actually got kind of a late start today. If it were earlier, maybe I'd be in here longer, but uh, I do kind of want to get back. It is pushing four o'clock and uh, the way you get out of here, if you uh, keep focused, don't do any detours and uh, you know, don't dilly dally. Takes you about an hour. So, I think I'm gonna make a beeline, not a beeline, but a line out of here. Um, however, we'll definitely be back. Maybe in a few weeks, because there's a uh, stream behind me there, and it'll be a uh, chanterelle season before too long. And one thing I've learned about the chanterelles is that I tend to find them along uh, streams and creeks and little little waterways. So I'll definitely be back to see if there are any growing in here. That. Hopefully, uh, we'll be a little more rusty. What the hell was that? Something weird just moved through there. Huh. I don't know if it was like a lizard or a snake or a... I don't know. It had the general shape of a, like a lizard almost, it seemed like. You know. But I don't know, I don't think we had lizards up here, but I don't think we do. But I don't know, could be anything, could have been a bug, frog maybe. I didn't, you didn't see it, so I didn't see it either. Okay, enough rambling, I'm gonna start heading out and we'll uh, pop the camera back on if we come across anything fascinating. Okay, this is the slope where I'm usually like, might be a little dangerous. But this is a pretty gentle part of the slope. And we're gonna take it pretty goat style. And maybe we don't have to do it Billy goat style. Maybe I'm not up as far as I thought I was. That'd be nice. Oh, oh, maybe, yeah, maybe I'm a little closer to a, the escape hatch than I thought. But if that's the case, it means we're coming to that really wet area. So yeah, where I come in, there's a river not far from it. And it can get a little soggy on you. I think I might be in the soggy zone, actually. Yeah, okay.
right, so I'm not lost, but I do know I have to head in that general, that general direction. And eventually I am gonna pop onto something that I do remember as a trail. It was the way out of here. But to do that, I think I need to focus. Okay, yeah, I am nowhere near as far down as I thought I was, actually. Nowhere near it. In fact, I should have figured it out from the dog barking. I thought maybe the dog was part of some, uh, like where I come in, I always see signs that people have been camping there. So I was thinking maybe it's just some people out from Memorial Day or whatever. But I think I'm actually near one of the properties. If I'm near one of the properties, I really don't want to be near one of the properties. So let's uh, focus on getting out of here. Okay, I think I'm reasonably far away from the things I ought to be far away from. So, why don't we, um, okay, I know where I am now. For real this time. All right, we're very close to being out of here, so. Hopefully that happens in the next few minutes. Okay, we're basically, this is where, uh, This is actually where I would normally come in. So. And if you do it right, you have a little, it's almost like a little set of stairs. All right, well, the bugs are here. And it's also our friend, the stinging nettle. Oh, he loves our bare legs, the stinging nettle does. Ooh, okay. Get out of it there. Get some more of it. Yeah. I think we're gonna come out of the stinging nettles unscathed. Yes, we did. There's been a handful of times I've gone through there and uh Yeah, that's actually how I learned about stinging nettles, is I'd heard of them and never bothered looking up what they were, because I thought they I thought I knew what they were. I thought they were more of a Thorn bush type of thing. Didn't know the stingy part was on the leaves. Oh, wait, no, bang. My leg itches and burns. I think I did get, oh wait, we got more stingy. Here. Plenty of chances still to get our legs all swollen and itchy. Ooh. Okay, I made it through. I didn't get nettled. So that's good. I let it go around these logs, but I guess I'll go over them today. All right, I just got the meadow to cross, and then I'm back on the road, and then I just gotta walk down the road, maybe a quarter of a mile, if that. Eighth of a mile, but not very far. And then I'll be out of here. All right, I made it out. I'm on my way back to where I parked my ride. And see those clouds? They're telling me I left at the right time. Check this out, listen to this. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up the sound, but... Grasshoppers are noisy. They're making me think of those grasshoppers we saw in the Everglades, the ones that were like, like 20 times the size of those guys. You know, these ones are all hopping around and flying about and making noise. And those big ones, man. They weren't shared. They weren't shook. They are were just walking around, giving you the side eye. Look at that. Wild. All right, we're almost back to where we parked. All right, we made it back. Safe and sound. I'm gonna let my truck air out a bit, it is hot in hell. I've never seen more people park here. 
than I have today. Like, I don't know what is down there. It's so great. I think I went fishing down here once and uh, I didn't like it all that much. Hey, it looks nice and I think I see smoke from like maybe a cookout fire or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, looks like a Memorial Day party place. Which is probably why I don't like going fishing there. <laughs> anyway, I think that's it. We didn't obviously, it's probably one of the rare instances I didn't come out with anything. Like, not even a weird old bone or a feather, nothing. So, that's okay though. Like I was saying before, I wasn't really feeling it today anyway. I was in there maybe you know, a couple hours, I guess. So. Good exercise, good time. We're gonna wait for the traffic to calm down. Okay, I think that's the video. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.